This is how to work a buffer problem when you're given the amount of base, but you have to figure out how much acid to add. How many grams of sodium hydrogen sulfate must be added to 0 0.310 liters of 0 0.560 molar sodium sulfate to prepare a pH equal 2.50 buffer? Okay, now right off, you know that if you're going to make a buffer, it has to be within one pH unit of the pKa. So chances are we're dealing with the 1.92, not the much less than zero. But of course, sodium sulfate is Na2SO4. So when I put sodium hydrogen sulfate in water, it dissolves into Na+, which I really don't care about and HSO4 minus. When I put sodium sulfate in water, that dissolves up into two sodium ions and a sulfate. So my HSO4 1 minus, that is going to be my conjugate acid, and my sulfate is going to be my conjugate base. All right, now it's time for Henderson-Hasselbach. pH equal pKa plus log of base over acid. Okay, and let's see. My target is a 2.50 pH. My pKa is 1.92 plus log. I know how much base I have. If I take 0 0.310 liters times 0 0.560 mole per liter, which is the concentration, I have my amount of base in solution in units of moles. Now I'll just use X to represent how many moles of sodium hydrogen sulfate I need to add. So, let's see, i got to bring this 1.92 over, so I'm going to bring this over here, and this is going to be 0 0.58 is equal to the log, and I'll multiply out these other ones, and I will get 0.1736 moles on top, and x on the bottom. Okay, well the way to get rid of logarithms is to take things to the tenth power. So that gets rid of my log there, and this just comes out 0.1736 moles over x, and 10 raised to the 0.58 turns out to be 3.802. So swapping things around, x should be 0.1736 divided by, oops, I wrote 002, divided by 3.802 and my x should be 0.04566 and the units are in moles. So if you put 0.04566 in Webassign, it's going to mark it wrong because I'm being asked what? How many grams of sodium hydrogen sulfate must I add? So okay, very well. 0.04566 moles of sodium hydrogen sulfate times, in one moment I will figure out the molar mass, NaHSO4, and that would be 120.06 grams of my sodium hydrogen sulfate. Multiplying that out, I come out to get a value of 5.48 grams. Now technically my 0.58 here, when I take it to the tenth power, kind of limits me to two sig figs, so technically I guess that is 5.5 grams. And that's how you do that problem.